Hello everyone. I'm gonna let some people get in here before I get started. Oh, there's already comments. It always takes a minute for this thing to load for me. Let me know if this is a good connection. I believe we're on Wi-Fi, on Wi-Fi. I do hope that we are anyway. And I don't know how to check it now. So. My hair may Okay. Okay, we're gonna just give it like a couple more minutes. I'm on. Good connection, good to know. All right, we'll just finally I did, I finally did this right. I scheduled a live. I didn't screw it up. We've got a good connection. Awesome. Okay. Um, a few more minutes. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Looks good. Sounds good. Good. All right, y'all, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the way that I'm going to do this live is normally I'm just like talking to you guys, reading the comments. Um, today I'm going to go through my entire pack. I have it right here. I'm going to show you guys everything that is in my pack that I'm currently carrying right now. Um, a little background. I'm in New York. Went to New York City for a couple days, and it's been a crazy couple of days trying to get back on trail. It's been like... In the hundreds out here it's been very hot um uh one of our friends had a friend come visit and her car broke down yesterday we were supposed to get back on trail yesterday didn't work out um her car is um very broken and so uh we've been dealing with that it's it's not been a good situation but we are figuring it out i'm gonna get back on trail tomorrow um, but anyway, yeah, um, I will be going through my pack, so I'm not going to really see you guys' comments. Um, you can, if anybody has a question, a burning question that they want me to answer, um, you can do the super chat thing and it pops up really big on my screen and I will look up every now and then and answer those questions, but I will not be, um, keeping up with all of your chats, um, as great as I normally do because I'm going to be going through my backpack. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I'm using my Waymark um, backpack that I started with. Love this thing. It's a frameless pack. It's very light. Uh, every time that I've slack packed, I just take all my stuff out of my backpack. I have a plastic liner bag and I'll send that with whoever and I'll just use this bag as a slack pack. Um, it dries pretty fast. It smells really freaking bad right now, but it has done great. I love this bag and I do have a link in all my descriptions in my videos. If you want to check out a Waymark backpack for yourself, this is a good backpack if you're transitioning from one with a frame. And so like I had an Osprey before trail that I've used when I backpacked in Arkansas on my backpacking trips. And that thing is so heavy that I pick. It's it's comfortable to have the trampoline backing, but that backpack weighed like almost five pounds. This thing is like a little over a pound, and it's just a lot more, I guess, better for a through hike in my opinion. Um, so on the outside of my pack, I have my bug net, which I've heard that the bugs are really bad in Connecticut and Massachusetts. I have friends that are in those states or past them, and so. Uh, definitely will be using this. I normally keep my hat on my outside of the of the pack just in case I hike through like a pasture with uh, the sun or if it starts raining I put I'll put my hat on so that uh you know water doesn't drip in my eyes. Um let's see on this side I have my Kula cloth pee rag. I use this if I'm hiking and I have to pee I just use this cloth. And I got my through hiker um, tag that I got in Harper's Ferry. And this is Chungus. He uh, is our Tramley mascot. And he is chilling with me this week. We kind of passed him around. So 
Um, let's see, in the side pockets here, I have my Tyvek ground sheet that I use uh, to put in the bottom of my Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2. And I also keep the stakes and the poles on the outside of, uh, on this pocket too. And then I have one two liter smart water bottle that I use to carry around my water. On this side, um, I have my camp shoes, which are some Tevas. I love these camp shoes. They're also my town shoes, my shower shoes. Um, so they're pretty light and they're easily compactable. And I have gone kayaking and done river things and stuff like that. So I um, like those as camp shoes. And then I have uh, Essentia water bottle that I also use. I actually am probably going to switch over to these. So these are a little bit thicker, um, but they're shorter than the smart water bottles. And I found that it's easier. Like if you stay in a hotel or you go into a sink bathroom, you can fill this up better than, uh, this one. Cause this one's just kind of like tall and, uh, yeah, it gets, it, you can't like fit it under the faucet. All right, and so here on the side, I have uh, my my sweat. Um, this thing is like is life. I use this every day, all day, um, and it is connected to this carabiner. It also has my Garmin InReach Mini. I get so many questions about this little thing. So this is a satellite phone. You. Um, actually pay a monthly subscription for it. So this is my mom phone. She pays $15 a month so that if I end up at a camp spot and I don't have service, I can text her and let her know that I'm okay. Um, this saved us a few times. This could have saved my life whenever I had my emergency surgery. I didn't, it has an SOS button and there's like a crew that can come in and save you. But I didn't end up pressing that when I ended up having to have that surgery just because I was in so much pain, I didn't want to wait. I took matters in my own hands, but if things got really bad, this thing could have saved my life. And, um, it's been very helpful in many different situations as far as like, um, sending texts out when I didn't have service, letting friends know where I was. And then also for the weather, um, when you don't have service on your phone, there's been a couple pretty severe thunderstorms that we have found ourselves right in the middle of. And so it's nice to get the weather on here and know like okay it's time to take cover because this storm is about to blow right through and the cool thing about this is it bluetooths to your phone and so you can really just like set this out in the open because this has to have like a clear uh, view of the sky and you can send texts from your phone and get the weather and do everything you need from your phone via bluetooth um so this is my little gossamer gear um, pouch and it lives here. I put my phone in here and my wallet and uh, also my pepper spray lives on the outside there so it's very easily accessible. This It's pretty much waterproof this little thing. Uh, my phone has stayed pretty decently dry in it um, but yeah this is a really good piece of gear and this on this side I have um, this water bottle holder. I got it off of Etsy um, from Justin's UL, uh, Justin, yeah, Justin's UL, um, store on Etsy. And this fits, uh, my smart water bottle if I need it. I actually haven't been using this very often. I, I have found that, um, I normally just, I did start out with, um, two one liter bottles and then I had like a little 700 milliliter water bottle, which I think I'm going to have to go back to doing because, a bunch of wells closed from New York to Connecticut and uh, that's I'm gonna have to start worrying about water again so this has been good for that um, there's been a few spots on trail where water's been very sparse and so um, I have utilized that to carry this to carry extra water and when I'm not carrying water in it I'll just put like random stuff in here like a camera or my sunglasses or something like that um, okay, so we'll flip this bad boy around. I'll show you guys what I keep in this outer pocket right here. This is my Sawyer Squeeze. So this is my water filtration system. I have, I also keep my soap in here. 
I always, always, always have some Dr. Bronner's soap. Use this probably every single day to wash my fingers before I take my contacts out. I'll wash clothes if they're just like disgusting. And I'll wash my body in the creek because um, this is this is safe to use. Um, but yeah, so very, very important in the summer when you're hot, sweaty all the time. And then my water system, I have this C knock bag. Uh, and I attach my Sawyer Squeeze and this is how I filter my water and that all just stays in this little Sawyer bag and um, let me see here uh, okay let's see yeah if you guys have questions uh, feel free to ask I'll try to look as much as I can but um, Let's see. Okay, so on the outside of my bag here, so this is like what, what I keep easily accessible things that I need. Uh, so obviously my my water filtration, if I stop, you know, I'm digging in my bag, like I just want to pull it out, filter my water and go along my way. So I also have my toilet paper. These are wet wipes. This is my trash bag um, to pack other stuff out. This is um, feminine stuff, tampons, and uh, you know, all that jazz. Oh no, that bag has a hole in it. I need a new bag. Um, what else is in here? This is my pee compartment that I pee. This is my bathroom at night. I pee in this. Um, sometimes it doesn't always all go in there. I miss and it gets all over my tent. But that's another story. I'm, I'm normally pretty, I've gotten pretty good at it. Um, but this has saved my butt. Um, a lot of times when I just like am tired and don't want to leave my tent to pee, so I just pee in this. And it lives back here. Because I don't want to put it in my... What's that? Oh, I have food back here that I did not know about. We got peanut butter crackers and a Nature Valley chocolate chunk. Got emergency food back there. And this is my Frog Togs poncho. That smells awful. Wow. Uh, I think I'm going to be, uh, it's still really hot, so I'm going to keep my poncho, but when it starts getting cold, um, probably will upgrade to, uh, a jacket and pants or go back to my old frog talks pants and jacket. I don't know. I don't know. Rain gear. I just have problems with rain gear. I don't, don't want to spend $300 on rain gear. It's so expensive. Like, Anyway, so that's what I keep on the outer pocket. Sometimes I'll have food packed out back here. Um, but this is like what I normally have back here. I'll put my socks in here. Like if I, I don't want to, they're like been worn for four days and they're disgusting and I don't want them in my bag. I'll just put them out there. Um, okay, so going inside of my backpack, um, my sit pad always is right here. So if I stop, take this out and I sit on it. I learned the hard way at the beginning of the trail not using this and I like sat down in I don't know probably some like ants or bugs and I had like bug bites all on my hamstrings and butt and it was very uncomfortable and uh I was sitting on a rock probably sat on like an ant or like those little I don't know chiggers or something so I always use my sit pad um always always Okay, so opening my backpack, first thing I have in here is my food bag because that needs to be easily accessible because I eat like 24 seven. Um, recently, ever since we've crossed into New Jersey, I have not carried food because this is deli blazing central. You can basically walk um, every day and hit a deli or a pizza joint or anything. You really don't need to pack out food other than like going to the deli and packing out a sandwich or something. And so normally I'll just carry like a few things for breakfast, maybe a few snacks, but, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I haven't been packing food out or like planning food for like resupply and stuff like that. Uh, however, we did go to the REI in New York and I did pick up, I still don't have my stove, but I'm hiking with the tramway, a bunch of people who do have stoves. So, I am going to buy them fuel and uh, be, yeah, 
share stoves. So I did get some mountain houses. Um, my friend, good old friend Ginseng, um, did I get the wrong one? No, this is the right one. She, we had a mountain house party the other night when we camped and she had like a bunch of mountain houses she wanted to get rid of. So we just like made all, we had like a little mountain house potluck and, uh, she had this one Mexican style adobo rice and chicken and it was so good. It has pinto beans, onions, cauliflower, zucchini, ancho, chilies, and lime. Very good. Um, oh my gosh. So these are, so they have these like in the Mountain House brand and the Alpine Meals. And this one's a peak refuel. I don't think I've ever had this kind. But you can get these like strawberry and granola uh, and milk ones. And you, you actually don't need a stove for these. You just add cold water and it's like cereal um so good so so good and uh you really could do this easier my friend tripod carries some powdered goat milk and then just will buy like a box of cereal from the store and uh make cereal on trail and i don't know i don't even really like cereal in real life but it hits different out here it's very very good um uh, and then i got this alpine air grilled chicken with spinach alfredo pasta i think this is my favorite brand of uh, freeze dried meals like hands down these are these are just a step above i've never had this one though so we shall see uh, i always like to carry these little cliff block energy chews they're a nice little pick me up in the middle of the day if you're tired they have a little bit of caffeine in them and glucose so i always like to keep those as snacks and that's the only thing i have in my food bag oh my gosh there's an ant in here what the heck there's ants in my food bag cool you guys just been riding around with me. Gotta pay for rent around here, bro. Ew. Anyway, oh, well, I also have this bag full of condiments. Um, literally, this probably weighs like 10 ounces for no reason at all. Because, like, I don't really have anything I put in this. It's just condiments that I've taken from establishments oh i guess i do have uh tuna and then there's just trash and protein powder and my spoon i guess i'll show you so this is my spoon i keep this Ooh, i should wash that um this is my protein powder and then i just have like you know a bunch of i hoard plastic bags because that's what you do out here and oh those are my drink mixes and my hand sanitizer all right, so that's what's in my food bag. Um, actually, you should probably look at what's coming up ahead because I haven't really done that, and I probably should. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, in the Mountain House Little Meals, they have like a funny little saying on the bottom of all of them, and this one says, your mother is not here to clean up after you. Huh? Hilarious. Thank you, Mountain Dolls. Um, okay. Oh, brief intermission. Check out my new shoes. Um, rocking the North Face Vectives Matrix. Um, so I went to an outfitter in um, Harper's Ferry when my Adidas were done for, and they put me in these, and I loved them. And my the ugly pink pair that I hated. I loved the... I had just hated the way they looked. But they were so comfortable. Um, but Pennsylvania tore them up. I mean, those things were so done. But these are awesome. They're my alma mater colors. Ow. And uh, purple and gray. Like, they're so cool. But very excited about those. My feet will not hurt. And hiking will be very much more enjoyable. So, cool. Alright, so the next thing... When I pull out something from my bag, this is my electronics bag. And so I have my stuff plugged into the wall, but I have this Anchor battery charger. It's got two. Um, it's supposed to be like a faster charging thingy more. I don't know how all that works. Got my iPhone charger. Um, this is a Z-Pax little bag. It's got holes all in it. These are my charging cords and my headphones. And then I've got this little box that I charge my um, GoPro batteries with. And I have my SD cards in there. 
And then this is my battery bank. So I also get questions. How do I charge my things while I'm on trail? This is uh, 20,000 somethings. And I can charge my phone like four or five times with this plus my um, my GoPro. I do see a super chat. Um, thank you, Brian. $20, I don't know. Um, yeah, you have a question or, oh. Watch out for moose too. Lots of interactions this year. Ooh, I hope I see a moose. I've heard they're mean though. All right. So moving right along. Oh, also, I found a Canadian nickel on the ground at a lake we were at, and it's from 1986. And I just thought it's cool. There's a beaver on it, and Queen Elizabeth II. A Canadian nickel. So I don't know. I'm keeping that. It's my little trail souvenir, I guess. And then here I have like. Backup tempered glass for my GoPro. I have extra SD cards. Um, just, you know, camera things and stuffs so that I can keep making these YouTube videos, which I am still very behind on. I apologize. It's very hard to keep up with them. But alas, I'm trying my best. All right, so the next thing in my bag is this big plastic bag full of things and stuff. So I'll just go through this bag and show you guys everything in here. Um, and I just got a new box of contacts. I do wear contacts on the trail. No, it is not hard to do that, in my opinion. I've been wearing contacts since I've been in, like, sixth grade, so it's, um, it's pretty easy for me to manage. Uh... I have one month replacement lenses, so I wear them for a month, and uh, then I just throw them away. I actually need to throw this pair away that I have in my eyes right now. I just got these. I got a very tiny resupply box today. Got these contacts, my knife, um, and a couple other things, I think. Um, in here, I also have my glasses, which I did start trail without glasses, and I quickly realized that uh, that was not smart, so have my glasses um let's see what else is in here it's my toothbrush bag i have um this little this is the toothbrush i have right now it goes like this and then a little thing of toothpaste and uh floss as well which i need to floss tonight put that on the to-do list uh this is my like medicine bag so i got benadryl in here prednisone just in case i get poison ivy I got Band-Aids in here, Tiger Balm, uh, KT tape, just things like that, um, eye drops. I had a ton of allergy medicine back in, during allergy season, but uh, I really only get allergies in the spring, so I threw away, so I had like a thing of Flonase, I got rid of that, um, and I, I just have like Allegra just in case, but thank God allergy season's over, because that sucked. Um, this is vitamins, so I have turmeric, uh, magnesium, garlic, and I need to get some multivitamins as well. So I have that. Uh, this is my contacts bag, my solution in here, and my uh, little contact case. And so there's the travel, for people out there that wear contacts, there's the travel size, and then there's this one, it's four fluid ounces. I have found that it is just more convenient for me to carry the four fluid ounces one because, ow, I keep doing that. Um, the little one ounce travel size one just doesn't last. And then you're stuck in the woods with no contact solution and it's not a good time. Um, so it's, it's not like a crazy extra amount of weight. Um, let's see what else we have here. This bag... There's like a little emergency towel in here and then my patchouli essential oil, which is just like, I love patchouli. And sometimes if I smell really bad, I'll just put some of this on and some, somewhat masks it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's kind of a pointless bag. Um, this is my, um, I've got little Bible verses on here. Miss Donna gave me this. And so, oh, I think I see another super chat. But 
how do I, how do I get to it? Why does it say $4.99? Papa, why did you send me $4.99, you dork? Popeye's literally in the room below me and he sent me four dollars. I'm gonna Venmo you that money back. Um, uh, anyway, these are my little Bible verses. Uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm gonna keep, keep holding on to this. I don't even know. Okay, Alex said, Kelly, I hope you keep something when you finish this hike like that yellow ball cap or the shoes, poles, etc. For memory to look back on or show your kids or grandchildren. Yeah, I don't know about grandchildren or kids, but I'm definitely going to keep <laughs> um, some stuff. Definitely the, the hat. Um, I don't know about the shoes or the poles, but uh, yeah, you know, I should probably keep something. Um, I tend to just throw things away, um, but... You're right. I'm, I need to, that's, that's a good point. I should keep something, maybe a shoe or something. Um, okay. This is butt paste. <laughs> this is also in this bag and, uh, chafing is a real thing out here. I've never chafed in my life until I did the AT in the summer. And trust me when I say you will chafe too, if you are out here everyone chafes and it's you chafe in places that you didn't know you could even chafe tmi well welcome to the world this is this is the world of through hiking it it's gross um that's just what it it is what it is um this butt paste uh is literally magic uh you can put this on any chafe and it's gonna fix it it's for babies i think um diaper rashes, but, uh, yeah, this is great stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't chafe a ton, but when I have, this has saved my life and, uh, I will stand by it forever. Butt paste. Sponsor me. Um, all right. So this bag, I have a razor. I have a mirror that is two pieces and then I've just been carrying around both for some whatever reason oh a hair tie I have one hair tie what is Daniel Winslow oh no 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 question just 25 bucks thank you so much Daniel I appreciate that uh, I chafe so bad I bled in Virginia yeah dude <laughs> yeah it gets bad um it's bad. Anyway, so hair tie. I'm getting distracted here. I have nail clippers that I got from the Dallas store and these tiny little tweezers. People ask, how do you keep your eyebrows good? I use this. This is this is my tool. Um, this bag also has a bunch of holes in it. Cool. I need new Ziploc bags. All right. So there's that. What pace do you stay there? I just bought these at um, REI the other day. They're called Wilderness Wipes by Sea to Summit. Never used them. We'll see. I've actually been like on this quest to find the perfect wet wipe. Because if you buy just regular baby wipes and you give yourself a baby wipe bath at the end of the day, I almost feel dirtier after because then you're just like super sticky and you have like a layer of sweat and then a layer of baby wipe stuff on you so uh i did oh what are those ones i got at walmart they're pretty good but they were heavy i carried like 12 of those wipes and they were probably like a pound i was like this is stupid these are nice um we'll see how they go they have aloe vera vitamin e um no oh, buy c to summit c to summit makes everything even wipes like i don't understand okay I also have some anti-itch hydrocortisone cream, which comes in handy because the mosquitoes are terrible. And those little tiny little gnats called noceums, I hate those things. I want every single one to die. And then I also have, this is my hairbrush. This thing, this thing's been through it. My hair, my hair is literally one giant dread. Dude wipes, I say, I did see that. Dude wipes are awesome. I do love dude wipes. 
But you can't find dude wipes everywhere, so, um, but yeah, dude wipes. Dude wipes are good. More tampons. Oh, I was talking about this. Um, this is my camera. This is my new camera. It's called Insta360, and this is literally the camera. Let's see here. This is it. And so some of the vlogs that I have coming up, I use this camera. I'm going to be doing a video little review on this camera. Um, I don't use it to like vlog. I use basically my, um, uh, what you call it, my GoPro, and my phone, but this is really good for like wide angle shots. And I'm really excited to show you guys the content that I used with this and talk more about this in the future. Uh, but shout out to Insta360. They sent me that camera and, uh, I have really enjoyed using it on trail thus far. And I'm gonna actually plug my phone in so that we, I don't die on you guys. Or, yeah. Okay, so that's everything that's in this big bag. And this is just a, a hefty, hefty two gallon Ziploc bag, um, which also has a bunch of holes. This thing's been with me since I think Waynesboro, Virginia. But I mean, this is ultra light and this was cheap. Um, really, you just, you know, all these Z-Pack bags are great or whatever, but you just can't be beat Ziploc bags. They really are great. All right, so let me throw all this stuff back in here really fast. Does anybody have any questions for me so far? I actually don't have everything. Like, I'm about to go through my clothes, clothes bag, but some of my clothes are getting washed right now. So, you will have to forgive me. All right, let's see. What do we have next in this big bag? My clothes bag. And it's heavy. This is probably where I could shave weight, but, um, you know, it is what it is. All righty. So, this is my alpaca fleece line Appalachian Trail Gear Company hoodie. And I've kept this thing all summer. This is, I think I've washed this twice since I've been on trail. The alpaca fur, it, I don't know why, I don't know how, but it does not smell. And you're probably like, yeah, right, of course it doesn't. This thing does not smell. I've washed it twice since I've been on trail. Um, it wicks away moisture. Uh, I'll, look up alpaca fur. It's, it's awesome. And so like when I'm washing my clothes, I'll normally just wear this as a dress. Cause I got it in like a size extra large, a few sizes bigger. So it just looks like a dress on me. And I love this thing. Like, um, for a week before it got so freaking hot, it was actually like kind of chilly in the mornings. And so I would start out hiking with this thing and, uh, I love it. It's so soft and just like wonderful. So I have that. And then I have uh, one pair of Injinji socks. I just recently uh, replaced this pair, but these are the long socks that I wear in my videos and stuff. And they're the toe socks. And so I have not had any problems with blisters um, at all, pretty much, except for like the first week of trail when I was in those ultras that just didn't work for my feet. But ever since then, no blisters. And, uh, I like to wear these socks when I know I'm going to be walking through tall grass or lately, like if I know there's like a bunch of mosquitoes out, even though these dang mosquitoes bite you through your clothes. Um, but yeah, these are nice. And so I have these pair of hiking socks and then I have a pair of darn tough socks that are getting washed right now. And I'll normally wear like the same pair of socks for like three days and then like they're so crusty and gross and covered in who knows what, that, um, <laughs> I have to, uh, I'll switch out and then start wearing the other pair. And then I have, I, I carry three pairs of socks. And then I have my sleep socks that I exclusively wear only in town or to bed. Um, like, yeah, very strict about that. I think I've only hiked in these once and I was like, why'd I do that? That's not, that's against my religion. Okay. This is my town shirt. Um, it is a, I paid a whopping $2.88 for this bad boy at Walmart and I cut $2 off of it and now it's just this little crop top and it's great. Um, I also wear this in town. It has been nice since it's been so hot and it's kind of cute. So 
yeah this is my buff it's my Appalachian Trail buff I've actually been wearing this as a little tank top too since it's been hot um but I use this as a buff and you know but buffs are so multi-dimensional you can use this for so many things so I, I do have that and I have my little tie-dye buff that's getting washed right now um so I switch between those and then in here I also keep my Sea to Summit Arrows Premium Pillow. Um, this is the regular size, and I'll just blow it up for you guys really fast because it's like it's so easy to blow up. I love and I love this thing. I never thought that I could sleep with a blow up pillow, but this thing is so comfortable, and I love the material on here. It's like it's soft and it feels like an actual like pillow case. <sighs> Dang, we got 304 people in here. The live is popping. What's up, y'all? Um, yeah, so this is my pillow. Um, as you can see, it's um, very easy to blow up. But, yeah, I just keep that in my clothes bag. This is where it lives and it resides. And I just roll it up and keep it in its little, little house here. Okay. All right. Then I also keep my, this is my air. This is my sleep. This is part of my sleep system. I have a Nemo Tensor 20R foam, not foam pad, a uh, blow up pad. And so it's good to like, I think below temperature to like 30 to 40 degrees. It's supposed to keep you warm. It weighs 13.5 ounces, three inches thick. And I love this thing. I have not, knock on wood. I have not had a problem with this as far as holes or anything like that, which kind of stressed me out because I'm like, what day is this thing gonna fail on me? But in here I have like some stuff that I can possibly fix it with. But anyway, we're not gonna think about that. And then here I have my puffy. This is my puffy. I've kept it all throughout throughout the summer. And even with it being this hot, you would be surprised that I have still used this and it's come in handy a few times when I don't know just random situations when I get cold I don't like being cold I'm gonna be cold because it's gonna be cold by the time we summit to Todd because we've been you know diddle daddling along but that's okay but anyway yeah so then um what else so I have this this is my IBX wool shirt and I kind of wear this as um a sleep shirt at night most of the time I sleep naked if it's like really hot out but the few nights it's been chilly I put this on and it uh, I don't know it it makes me feel cleaner because I know I have like a clean sleep shirt and then I also have um, these are just some Nike spandex shorts so I have those and then I have my Under Armour um, shorts that I wear and then my Patagonia shorts so wow I have a lot of clothes but uh, I always have something to wear so that's cool um, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this but the two shorts that I actually wear hiking normally I wear these in town uh, I've worn them hiking a, a few times but I'll normally just wear either the Under Armour or the Patagonia switch them out and both of those shorts have pockets which is a must for me because when I go into town I just put everything in my pockets and um walk around so yeah uh the Patagonia shorts are relatively new I got those in front royal and I really like them they dry super fast and don't smell as bad um the Patagonias do not have um underwear built in but the Under Armour ones do and I also have a pair of um black wool underwear that's actually not my underwear um we a bunch of through a bunch of through hikers did laundry and front royal together and me and light bright this other um hiker we got our underwear mixed up and like the next i i picked the underwear up and put it on and i was like what this is not my underwear and i texted her i was like dude i think we did an accidental swaparoo so light and bright i uh, hope you're enjoying my underwear out there somewhere 
thank you for yours. Uh, they're, they're pretty much the same, but anyway, that's kind of funny. I'm walking around with somebody else's underwear, wearing it all the time. Um, what else is in the wash? Oh, my little, um, Under Armour shirt and my Nike sports bra are also getting washed because it was, they're very dirty. All right, let's see. What else we got in here? This is my tent. I have a Big Agnes Tiger Wall, Tiger Wall UL2. I love this tent. Oh my gosh, it smells so bad. Um, whew. Yeah, uh, that threw me off. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that tent's really good. Sorry, I feel like I've been talking for 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to lose my mind. Um, but yeah, this tent's great. I um, like it because I leave the rain fly off every now and then and look at the stars and it's got good ventilation. It's pretty light and it's very big and roomy. So um, yeah, tent. That is my tent. Oh, also, okay, then uh, under my tent, I have my sheet my Sea to Summit silk sheet liner. I like having this because like last night it was really hot. Um, I didn't even take my sleeping bag out of the bag. I just used this to wipe my sweat off basically. And then, you know, cuddle up with it. Cause I just, I don't know, I'm weird. I just have to have like a blanket or something over me. Um, but this is nice. It's silk. It adds warmth when I need it to and keeps me cool when I need it to. So yeah. Thought about sending this home at one point, but I'm glad that I just never do because I always appreciate having it when I go to bed at night. And then, last thing at the bottom of my bag is my Enlightened Equipment Custom Revelation Quilt. It is 20 degree bag and I customized it. Um, I got this, so like when I got back from the trail after my surgery, I had like one of the worst nights on trail ever. I was so freaking cold. And that was in my old sleeping bag that was supposedly 20 degrees, but not. And I was like, I am not getting cold again on trail. And so I ordered this quilt. And this is actually a quilt. My old one was a mummy bag. Hated the mummy bag because I was like, just, you know, like couldn't move. And my quilt, like, it's just a blanket. So I'm like, I can sprawl out. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just did that on live. Oh, boy. Somebody take this camera from me. Um... Yeah, so this thing is hot. It, like, radiates heat. You put this over your body, and, uh, yeah, it just, it does the job very well. So, I'm excited to have this when I know that it's about to get cold, but it's too hot for that right now. Um, so, it can just live in the bottom. It is down. It It is a down um, quilt. Wow, this is devolving very fast. Sorry guys. And this is my pack liner um, that everything lives in. I got this from the Waymark site as well. This thing, I've had this since Glasgow, I believe. So these things hold up pretty well. Um, and this is what I'll put in my, uh, all my stuff in when I slack pack. And I'll just like tie the top and then go get the rest of my stuff whenever I'm done slack packing. Slack packing sounds so nice but I don't know if we can get that happening. Okay, I think that's literally everything I own. Yeah, that's everything I own. So I will spend a few minutes looking at this chat um, and answering y'all's questions if you have any. Uh, but first, well, brief intermission, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm starving. I had to get my food. It was sitting over on the other side of the room, just staring at me. So, wouldn't be a Kelly Hayes Hikes video if you guys didn't get to see me watch or watch me eat. You're turning into hiker trash slowly but surely. Oh, honey, I'm, I'm hiker trash, like 1,000%. Um, what's your total pack weight? <clears throat> probably like 
or around 25 to 30 pounds based on depending on like how much food and water I am carrying at that particular moment. But I would say it's probably been like a steady 23, 25 recently with not carrying very much food and water. So, yeah. Um, thank you, thank you. How about any gear you've seen fail on the trail? Or gear to avoid your gear or others? Hmm. I'm trying to think. If I had the boys in here, I'm sure they could tell. Popeye's been through like seven sets of gear. But, um... I'm in my own room tonight, so they're like, they're downstairs doing something. Probably watching this live, making fun of me. Alright. What food are you sick of that you loved in the beginning? Everything. Like, I don't know. Any hiker food... I don't know if I'll ever be able to look tuna in the eyes ever again after trail. <laughs> the other day, it was funny. We were uh, hiking out of uh, Delaware Water Gap, and there was a hiker box, like a trail magic box, um, at the start of the trailhead. And literally, the only thing in there was oatmeal, north sides, tuna. I was like, wow, everything that a through hiker can't even stand to look at is in this box. I can't even be mad at the person who put it there because I wouldn't want that either. Alright. I can't keep up with the questions. Does the slider on the C-Knock bag work well? Uh, yeah. Kind of. Um. Yeah, Cliff Bars. Oh, I can never eat another Cliff Bar in my life. What food are you craving? Um. Again. I don't even know if I'm, like, craving any foods anymore because I eat so much and it's, like, eating is, like, almost a chore at this point because we can never get enough calories in you to not be hungry. So it's just, like, hmm, a losing battle. But this is probably one of the best meals I've had on trail. And it's, like, this little guatemalan place that we found. It's, like, a chicken taco rice and beans so so good holy crap oh we got a super chat hey jelly pizza money heck yes thank you neil okay yeah that's what we do um we get pizza i've eaten pizza is like my main food group and we realized that everything here is pizza like there's a pizza place everywhere even the sandwiches we get, they're just like pizza in disguise. It's crazy. I love pizza. Pizza. Alright. Has your muscle tone improved overall? No, my muscle tone has is gone. I don't have any muscle anymore. My body's eating my muscle. I was... I I do CrossFit back at home. So it's just like completely different muscle fibers that have gone away and new ones... I mean, have probably built up. I actually have calf muscles now. I've never had calf muscles in my life, so that's kind of crazy. <coughs> that's the only improved muscle um, that I have on me, I would say. Let's see here. Um, are you still going to visit Liz Kidder? That's a good question. I need to hit her up because I'm getting close by. I keep thinking I need to do that. Um, did you get to see the 9-11 memorial? No, didn't. We were kind of far away where we stayed, and New York is <clears throat> overwhelming. There's so much to do, and, like, we were only there for two days, so, um, <coughs> dang it, I need water. <coughs> Let's, <coughs> I actually need water. That gummit. Ugh. That's why you don't eat in live.
I'm sorry, people. <laughs> I'm a hot mess and a half. Hairball. Yep, something like that. Okay, what are you eating? Popeye, go away. Is that Popeye? That's got to be Popeye. <clears throat> Have you been okay after surgery? <coughs> Literally, can I even talk anymore? I don't know if I can. <clears throat> a piece of rice went down the wrong hole. I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, what were we talking about? Have you been okay after surgery? Yes. I um, forget that that even happens sometimes. I am 1,000% fine. Did the tea tree oil work? Yeah, I'm out of tea tree oil. And I'm out of lavender oil, which is what I've been using to help with bugs. Um, I'm in this bougie town. New York is expensive. Let's just say that right now. Let's just, let's just talk about that for a second. Um, it is expensive. And I walked all around this town yesterday looking for some lavender oil because I was out. And I went to this little boutique bougie store. And it was $20.00. For a lavender oil this big I was like I can buy that at Walmart for four dollars and then I walked out so this place I don't know how people live in New York I did yeah da expensive this expensive uh let's see Ooh, so many comments people are texting me okay what is your daily calorie intake target as much food as possible uh burning like probably about 5,000 calories a day so uh yeah I just eat as much food as I can possibly eat at this point Liz just posted a video yeah I did I saw that I need to watch it any thought on other hikes after this yes I definitely am gonna be gonna go for a triple crown but answering that what size is your pack my pack is 50 liters uh what town am i in right now i do not disclose such information <laughs> all right any other questions uh why are the north face kicks better uh they are i don't know if they're better uh the shoes that i start out with the adidas they are sold out and uh so I just, I couldn't get them anymore. And so, and I needed new shoes. And so they put me in the Vectives and I was like, hey, I actually like these and they are easily accessible. I can get them pretty much at any um, outfitter. So I am just gonna rock those for the rest of the way. AD says, I summited Katana today. Avoid the Abel Trail to get down the mountain. Dude, first of all, congratulations. That's awesome. And I will have to remember that. Thank you. Very, very much. Um, hey, TC, what's up? I'm, hope you're doing well. Do you have to make up miles from your time off trail after you get to Katahdin? Um, uh, if you're referring to the Smokies, I am going to go do the Smokies after I summit Katahdin. Uh, actually, uh, got a couple people that I think are going to do the Smokies with me. So it's going to be a good time. Uh, I got 200 ish miles left. Um, whenever I'm, I summit Katahdin, uh, that I plan on hiking Sobo back to the campsite where I almost died and then finishing out my through hike in, um, Georgia at the better homes. Uh, what is it? Your home in the woods bed and breakfast with Mr. Paul. And Miss Bonnie and her are with me, um, and it will be a very cool moment. But yeah, I do plan on doing that um, after some of Dean Katahdin. Uh, probably go home and, you know, see my cat and stuff. And we got time, we got time. Uh, let's see. Whoa. Seeing a lot of Sobos. Actually, I've started to meet a few Sobo people. So that's been cool. 
Thank you. What is slack packing? Slack packing is when you basically send like all of your gear somewhere and you hike with a day pack to wherever. So slack packing can be done in a number of different ways. Normally, um, yeah, I, I, I try to do a Nobo slack pack. I haven't really slack packed very often, but more, a lot of people on trail, uh, well, I feel like we're catching a lot of people on trail who are either have vehicles or somebody is supporting them. And so it's been a little easier to do slack packing. Um, but at this point in the game, it's like kind of a little bit more trouble than it's worth. So <clears throat> are you missing your bed? Yes, mother. I am missing my bed and I miss my cat, my Fifi. Have a ballpark summit date in mind yet? Yes, we are planning to summit around the first week of October. I have no deadline in my life. I can summit Katahdin the day it closes, October 22nd. Is that necessarily what I want to do? I mean, I'd be, it'd be pretty cool. I don't want this experience to end. I am trying to extend this out as long as possible. But I also... Uh, don't want to freeze to death. And, yeah, but, you know, it'll be an adventure. Uh, let's see. You watching other peeps' AT videos? I was. Uh, I haven't been watching very many YouTube videos uh, on trail. I watch, like, two people on YouTube religiously. Um, and they're not through hikers. Um, but... I am definitely planning to get caught up on everybody because I have been following a few people. And I like to see other people's videos and stuff. I forgot to show you guys what's in my little other part of my pack. Um, because somebody asked GoPro. I have a Hero 9, the, the newest GoPro. Uh, have you seen any Mexicans on the trail? LOL, JK, I'm Mexican. Okay. No, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Have I seen Mexicans on the trail? I don't know. I don't know. More zeros. Yes. No. <laughs> we are not, I'm not taking a zero for like a month. We've taken too many zeros here recently. Uh but we've been having fun. <clears throat> do, do, do. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm dead. Best of luck. Um... Do you guys want me to go? I, I forgot to uh, show you guys like what's in my side pockets of my backpack. If anybody cares at this point, I'm just going to do it because I, I don't have anything, anything better to do with my life. So on my right hand side is where I keep my GoPro. This is where I film most of my content. It's the GoPro Hero 9. Um... Yeah, does anybody have any questions about that? I just keep it right there on that side pocket, and uh, it's ready to go when I need it. So it's very easily accessible. And then, of course, I have another tampon, because tampons are literally everywhere. It's crazy. Put all these tampons in there. Okay, and then on the other side of my hip belt pocket, I have this um, Black Diamond Spot headlight. This thing's been messing up lately, and it's been angering me. And I was going to buy a new one at REI, but they did not have a good selection. So, oh, look, it turned on. Sometimes it just doesn't turn on. So, I mean, this is a pretty, like, important piece of gear. I don't really want a headlamp that fails me. So, uh, might be looking into getting a new headlamp, but I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to deal with that. D, I got Stacks. Stacks on stacks. Mosquitoes. Try me. That's for Connecticut, Massachusetts. I got my lighter. And I got sunscreen. 
and I have hand sanitizer. I normally I'll like throw some snacks in this, this pocket as well, but that's what lives in there. Cause I knew you guys were all just like dying to know what was in my, my hip belt pockets. Now you know. Um, hmm. All right. Well, this has been going on for a solid hour. And, uh, I might get back to watching Outer Banks. I'm binge watching season two of Out Outer Banks because, um, I can. There's Netflix at this place. I have not sat in bed and chilled and just watched TV in so long. And it is very nice. Um... Thank you guys so much. Oh boy. A pretzel? A pretzel head headlamp? Okay. Nightcore and you to UL headlamp. Are these expensive headlamps? I literally was looking at headlamps at REI that were like a hundred bucks. I was like, that just hurts my head to think about. Oh, David Marion just messaged me, said there's an excessive heat warning uh, where we're hiking. Yes, terrifying. How do you keep your equipment charged? I use that little power bank. Outer Bank season two is intense. Dude, I know. What the heck? I won't throw any spoilers out there, but I'm like, this this thing's bop popping off. $69 for the pretzel. Ugh. That is expensive. Everything is expensive. This is expensive life. Amazing how much you can fit in a small space when you eliminate what isn't really necessary. Very true, very true. Um, heat will break by Sunday. Well, looks like we're zeroing till Sunday. Totally kidding. Walmart has dollar headlamps, one dollar. Yeah, and they suck. <laughs> Nightcore new 25 is 25 bucks and weighs an ounce. Now that's more like it. Will you like Yellow Deli? I've heard some pretty, pretty creepy things about the Yellow Deli, so I don't know if I'll be going near there. Inflation, yes, it is a thing. Blah, 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 blah. Did you ever pick up tweezers for future bugs in the ear? I do have tweezers. I do not plan on getting any more bugs in my ear. All right. Well, um, I think that, um, I think that this is, uh, this is about it. Uh, if, does anybody have, I almost got kidnapped twice by the deli. Okay. Now I know this is Popeye. <laughs> You need to tell the people your your yellow deli experience. Do you guys, I should go, do you guys want to go hang out with all my friends in the other room? What's going on down there, Popeye? Should I come? Finish eating. Uh, I want to get rice stuck in my throat again. Is it hard for one person to hike solo on the trail? Uh, that's a good question. So, No. I think you could hike this whole thing solo if you wanted to. I feel like I hiked a lot of the first half of the trail solo. I was with Mighty Mouse, but we would kind of, we would hike like alone most of the day. And now, ever since I've met up with this group, uh, we like, we all hike together. You guys do want to hang out with my friends. All right. This might be fun. I'm scarfing down fettuccine. Okay, I'm coming. This is happening. We're just gonna, like, we're just gonna do this, guys. Uh, let's go downstairs and see what everybody else is doing. Where's Grace? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. Um, honestly. She actually messaged me earlier. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, blow her cover and tell where she is, but this is, this is the current state of my life. Yeah. Take your room key. I don't have a room key. I have a code. Let's see. Oh, this is fun. We're, we're going on an adventure here together. Let's see what everybody's doing downstairs. Ow, ow, ow. 
everything hurts. Ow. Can you go interview strangers on the street? Actually, that sounds really fun. That would be something that I would totally do. Do, do, do. Oh, it's still hot as balls out here. Lovely. Let's see what everybody's doing. It trips me out when you started a dribble playing basketball. I'm thinking no bow, then sobo, so I can have a tramway and then be alone. Where is everyone? <laughs> Where's Toasty? He is still doing laundry. Oh, that's right. He's doing my laundry. <laughs> I'm walking through town. I don't know what I'm watching. So this is what's going on. Where'd y'all get that food from? The, there's a Bro, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Dang. Got the garlic bread. You guys both got fettuccine. <laughs> you guys all got fettuccine. There's like seven pounds of fettuccine. <laughs> wow. Can I have a bite of somebody's? Hold you. Yeah. It's not a video unless you get to watch you stuff your face. Yeah, they already watched. I choked on a piece of rice earlier. Where'd you get? Yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tribe Bob. Mm -hmm. If anybody mm -hmm. wants to donate a piece of garlic bread, I'd eat that too. Grab one. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Bread, but... Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, it's just bread. That's yeah, fine. We like bread. 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 Always for the win. Oh. Um, hmm. I might order Chinese food in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. We zero and just eat at like every restaurant in town. So I heard we get a zero till Sunday? Yeah. Did you see that guy said the excessive heat warning was till Sunday? Mm. No, we can't do that. It's hot. It is very hot. How can we like get this where everybody's on here? There we go. Carbs. <laughs> we love carbs. What? I don't know. I don't know if we're going to still do this. <laughs> if we should still be on here. This is kind of pointless. Mm. Does anybody have any other questions or like questions? Go around the room and do like an icebreaker or something. Like, where are y'all from? Okay. Yeah. Let's just meet. Let me meet my family. So, actually, let's see. This is, we are, um, this is like my core crew of people that I'm hiking with. Um, so I'll let you guys meet them. <sighs> Who wants to go first? <laughs> we both point at each other. Um, this is Tripod. Tripod, where are you from? How'd you get your trail name? Um, it's like a formal interview. <laughs> right? Wow. No, no prep. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, while you're eating your dinner. <laughs> I'm from Michigan. And I got my name because I used to carry a tripod at the start for film, filming and stuff. Nice. Cool. And we met, um, we met like just after Harper's Ferry. Yes. Yeah. I've but then we, we started hiking together like probably two weeks after that or something. Oh yeah. Popeye. Um, this is Popeye. This is my friend Popeye. Hello. Show the people your tattoo. Popeye got a tattoo in NYC. Popeye. Got the spinach. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, Popeye trading card set. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Show him the card. <laughs> Popeye hikes in these sandals because he's an animal. Oh, this is his uh, Popeye trading card. <laughs> yep. There we go. Somebody said dope tat. <laughs> yeah, you're like, what? That's lame. Uh, uh, where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston. 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 All right. And, yeah. Cool. Popeye. Popeye. Yeah, I met Popeye at the half gallon challenge. Yep. Did you believe that? 
minutes. 59 minutes, he did it. Yeah, I'm going to put that video out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, a whole breakfast burrito and whole large coffee and then destroyed the Happy Island Challenge. And then Toasty... <laughs> toasty ate, toasty ate like two pounds of French fries and a burrito, French and then bread. ate like almost a half gallon. Of yeah, I know a guy that did it three times. Like he zeroed. I don't know if he zeroed, but he did it three times back to back to back, and his fastest time was eight minutes. Yep. He did, I think he did it in one day. Three gallons of ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. That's a gallon and a half. Oh, <laughs> whatever. What is one thing you could or would need to carry to minimize time and expenses in town? What? What is one thing you could or would need to carry to minimize time and expenses in town? <laughs> A phone. Research. Yeah, being prepared. Probably. Everybody is. researching in your group makes it way faster than trying to look at everything yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this guy said, ask them what they like and dislike about hiking with you. <laughs> so, what is it, guys? Um, you're definitely always entertaining. <laughs> yeah, very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Not a laugh. <laughs> I provide laughs. I'm cool. Uh, I'm like the light to your day. Well, what else? <laughs> I know, just like, you wake up in the morning. Oh, yeah. I dislike you. Dislike, dislike that. <laughs> well, she dislikes every, everything in the morning. Yeah, I'm not a morning person. Mm. I also dislike hiking at night. <laughs> I, and I love hiking at night. Sometimes nobody... they drag me through that. I do that. Yeah, and nobody likes to night hike with me. It's, it's, well, it's I would. Good. At time, we almost got attacked by a beehive. Oh, That's yeah. Close. We night hiked, and we, we almost got attacked by a porcupine. A puff... A puff bird in a tree. <laughs> a puff bird. A, puff, so a puff bird. <laughs> you shook the tree and woke up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the, the murder hornets. The Scary murder. out here. Oh, somebody sent $2 for you to tell your yellow deli story. Oh. <laughs> I think that's worth more than $2. First time I met Yellow Deli was at Trail Days, and they had this tent set up right at the beginning of the tent city, and they're just like busting out bowls of spaghetti, like over and over and over again, and they're just trying to give their spaghetti away to people, and like come and have a life with them and stuff, and it was really uncomfortable. Those people went, I didn't go. And yeah, but then <laughs> that guy like... Oh yeah, and then we went to uh, Harper's Ferry. And uh, I got off from a trail vacation, and I walked to the uh, gas station where I was meeting Toasty and Moss. And this dude in this white van was picking mulberries off of a tree. He got on top of the van, he was picking mulberries off the tree. And he's like, really trying to get me to go to his hostel. And he has like purple stains all over his face. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no thanks, man. And uh, then I go to the gas station, he follows me slowly in his truck. Or in his van. <laughs> it's not creepy yeah. at all. <laughs> and then uh, me, Moss, and Toaster are sitting on a picnic table. And he comes over and, like, is really trying to get us into the van. Like, <laughs> making it, like, he's like, so you're not coming to my hostel. And we're like, no, no, no. He's like, well, like, uh, I don't know. He was just being, he was really strange. It was really. He was pushy. Was he, yeah. Yeah. Because he was like, yeah, I'll come back. Y'all were sitting there, and remember, why am I telling your story? You were like, he was like, yeah, we'll come back that. later. <laughs> we'll co he, he's like, we'll come, I'll come back later. And then they were like, you guys were like sitting there for a while. And then he like actually showed up yeah. later and was like, hey, so you coming? And he sat there uncomfortably for like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, dude, no. After, after told him no, he's like, oh, okay. And then he just sat there <laughs> for another 15 minutes. Look, you're working, believe me, I carried you away. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. Like, if you want to explain what the Yellow Deli is to the people. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't even really know what the Yellow Deli is. The Yellow Deli is uh, uh, a, a, deli. a deli cult. It's a, people. basically a cult. Oh, I don't know. Look at Google it. Yeah. Google it. They, they br bring that big old fancy looking van to all the dead shows. 
Oh, yeah, they have a school bus, but they were providing free rides at show days. So I got free one. rides. Yeah, so I almost got to come out three times. <laughs> Oh yeah, they some guys that do drive, go. Uh, a, a little ride to the, I don't know, festival. <laughs> I hop in the back of the, in the, of the school bus. Yeah. Wild, wild things be happening out here. Um, any other questions from people? <laughs> well, people probably have better things to do Friday night than. Watch this happen. I have nothing better to do. I have nothing better to do. Well, this life. is our life. This is our life. You're just eating this. Probably, how, how much does this fettuccine weigh? There's a couple of pounds. There's a couple of pounds. There's a lot. I ate like four pounds of chicken fettuccine. It's amazing, though. On Friday night. What was the most fun in NYC? My favorite part was um, sitting in Times Square just sitting in Times Square at like midnight and people watching. It was hilarious. There's so much going on. There's so many different types of people. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just really hilarious. Pe people are funny. There's a lot going on there. You cannot get bored. And it's really pretty too. Stay in the main streets though. Don't pull uh, a <laughs> We'll let him tell that story. I don't know. He almost got captured. He almost... Yeah, he he almost died. <laughs> yeah, you've heard he only told it like seven times. He took him in the back of a of a shop. And then he gave him ten bucks and ran off. Like I don't want no more. I'm done. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Popeye edited. The, the, the the oh yeah, Popeye, Popeye, <laughs> Popeye's filled with good stories. So tell us about your shirt. Uh, <laughs> I was in Times Square. This dude walks up to me and he tries to buy my shirt off. It was this cool like yeah. sake shirt that he got in what town was that? Uh, Delaware Water Gap. In Delaware in Water Gap. A ramen restaurant, and they were selling some awesome merchandise. So I bought a shirt. It's cotton, so you're not supposed to carry it. Or but you've been wearing cotton this whole time, bro. Yeah, I'm hot as day. Yeah. <laughs> so the dude walks up to me, he's trying to buy my shirt. I'm like, no, 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 whatever. And then, dude and his posse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His the, bros. Yeah, he, had like, he had like his little bro yeah, posse. Six of his boys behind him. <laughs> They were doing a photo shoot and they saw me and so they dragged me into the photo and then after he started haggling me again with the shirt and I'm like, alright, you found me in the middle of Times Square twice, whatever, here's my shirt. And then he gives me his shirt. So this is actually this good shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Has it been washed yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we we went to McDonald's to get like some food. I turn around and there Popeye standing there with this big grin on his face. What are you where's your shirt? It's like, ah. Oh. Game recognized game. Is what game doing. recognized game. <laughs> Somebody asked, who's in that sleeping bag? Chung. Chung. You want to say hi? You want to say hi to hey the people? Man, Chung's been having a, a rough time. Her her car broke down and she was, she was going to come. She was going to come to hike with us. She's Tripod's friend. Mm -hmm. um, but car broke down. That's what I was kind of talking about uh, at the beginning of the live. Uh, came and met us in NYC on the way home from NYC back to the trail. Car broke down and uh it's been we, like super hot. It's been it was so hot. They, the car overheated. Um and it like jacked a bunch of stuff up. So I have another um, friend coming from Michigan to tow that friend home. <laughs> yeah, so there yeah, we it's been a huge ordeal. Um for people coming down to get Are they here yet? Almost, like, almost Are they almost here? Oh, what I am. Do you have Venmo or anything? Do I have Venmo or anything? Yeah. I think so. Well, if you guys want to send Chung some money um, for a car, I mean, I, I don't know, but I can Venmo and you can maybe help her out because this is, it's been, uh, it's, it's been, been a mess. She it's been a, hike. it's been a mess. She didn't even get to hike the trail. She's going to have to go home because her car is jacked up. So we're trying to help as much as we can. So, you uh, a couple weeks. 
in yeah. weeks, you'll come back. Yeah. yeah, hopefully. I hope you do. Well, I can get my car under control. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you do come, you'll probably be hitting the best part of the trail, which is the west. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. The best part of the trail. Would you just look at it? The whites in the 100 mile wilderness. How much did he pay for the shirt? How much did you pay for the shirt initially? Uh, the sake shirt? Yeah. When, $26. The sake shirt was originally $26, and Popeye is just a good guy and gave it to he that, got that kid. 50. He got offered it 50 no, and he, didn't. he no, gave it. Fine. Yeah, that dude offered you 50 bucks, bro. I know he started, but we no. were hiking it for 1,200 miles with it and stuff. He was like, it, Way for free, I was like, you're like, oh, okay, you really want to He's just too nice. Popeye's too nice. He's bro. super nice. He's just a super nice guy. He even asked for the shirt. Yeah, yeah, I was just going to walk around Times Square without a shirt on. <laughs> but he gave me his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that was your favorite shirt. <laughs> yeah, this is a very comfortable shirt. I like the shirt a lot. <laughs> this guy said, <clears throat> by the way, I left you an Insta comment. I made a picture of frozen pina coladas and marks today just for you guys, and they are great. We love Margs. Margs tonight. Tequila. Tequila. No, we ain't drinking tonight. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We don't have beers at all. We didn't buy any beer tonight. No beer. Oh, no, no, no nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big boys. We were being sarcastic. No. Uh, I woke up. Not me. The... Hydrate. Gatorade and water. That's all you're I allowed drink to drink. Maybe half a gallon of water at the breakfast place. I was... I was dying. Yeah, we were all like very, very. Uh, not very much. Yeah, that diner was pretty good. Yeah, that the diner was very good. Five dollars. Oh, thank you. Kelly, stay at Vanessa's Hostel in Salisbury, Connecticut. Smells like hot garbage. Well, that don't sound. Heck yeah! <laughs> we love the smell of hot garbage. That's because that's what we smell like. Dude, that's a weird thing about getting up in the north is uh, there are no hostels, really, it's also anywhere. It's further north. Right now we're in the weird section where there's nothing. Just a bunch of bougie towns that sell $20 bottles of lavender essential oils. We, <laughs> we walked around trying to find the greasiest place in town to eat at just because everything else was, like, way too expensive. It's like $25 for an entree or something. I like got $25 for a salad. Like, yeah, for a salad. We're like, we're, we're, we're hikers. Where's the, like, the horrible stuff? $4 <laughs> pizza. Carbs for cheap. Yeah. This place wasn't that bad. They pay, like, $11 for a small salad. So, whatever. Yeah. $2 for a pop or soda or Coke. I got, my, I got, room. I got my dinner for fall free. We all can't be. Oh, there! I when I was going, I was doing my, I was doing my live, and there was ants in my food bag. I was like, oh no, die! That's something I never tell you about. Every time you unpack your bag, there's something a, living. Comes there's out of something it. living in your bag yeah. always. I found something that was pretty wild the other day. Yeah, what did like, you find? Nightmare, like nightmares, like. I couldn't recognize what kind of bug it was, so I just like uh. In your bag? Yeah, my bag. <laughs> yeah, like little tentacles and stuff. Like, like that, like little. <laughs> pictures, you know, like a worm too. <laughs> like, that's oh just my so gosh! They're everywhere, not the brown ones. I found brown ones. Are, the, bag. the brown ones are mild compared to what I saw. That was a night. That was nightmare fuel. Dude, in the bathroom last night, there was a cricket. He was chilling on the wall. Like I was like. I was peeing, and he was, like, on the wall in front of me. He's, like, the size of my hand. Oh, there was a bunch of little centipedes in the bathroom. Oh, oh they live in the... Yeah, they were, like, in the toilet and stuff. No, no, I hate like, those things. It's worse than some of the we've been in. Yeah, that was, that was pretty gross. Not gonna lie. I wish I took a shower last night. But I got one. Okay. Nah, I'm, gonna, I'm about to hit that shower. Um, I see CT, our pizza capitals of the USA. Find where the good pizza is. We've been eating so much pizza. For privy gazebo it used to be a privy with a view. Now just a view of you. I am going to make it a point to use that privy. Some of those are weird when they have them all. There's like a wall and you're just sitting there staring out. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, Hope no one's watching me. <laughs> it's oh, so freeing. What has been the guys' dream meals once they reach Katahdin? Dream meal. 
what are the guys' dream meals once they're done? I want a big fat steak after I climb Katahdin. I like it's Maine. We should be doing like. Oh, you're right. Lobster. Crabs and Crab. lobsters. I want a lobster. That lobster. I want a lobster. Dude, roll. let's get lobsters. Like the best lobster roll ever. That's what I want. You already missed it at Delaware Water Gap. That lobster roll yeah, it was, was good. It was yeah. eighteen. It was. Eighteen <laughs> hey, we're living our best life out here. We don't have lobster rolls in Arkansas. I'm glad. I like <laughs> Tripod. He seems like an absolute badass. He Do you know this guy, guy, Eli Murphy? No, Eli. No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, tripod is a badass. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you all survived Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, it's actually we were chilling on Elm Street earlier yeah. in this town, <laughs> and it's Toasty's birthday, <laughs> and our lives were terrible. It was like uh, 105 degrees, and we didn't know what to do because of the car situation, and it was like blazing hot we had nowhere to stay we went to and a laundromat and stayed there for hours <laughs> we hung out in a laundromat for five hours after today the post office for after we hung out in the post office for two hours and then we were sitting on elm street and we all realized we were on, on elm street on friday 13th and we're like uh okay let's move <laughs> yeah it's one of our friends' birthday. He he probably had the worst birthday. Like, <laughs> we are not ready to yeah, I feel so bad. This birthday's kind of memorable now. It's like, how did it be Where's Toasty? Birthday? It's his birthday. Is it today? Yeah. Oh, is that that's his brother, William Gate Gatens Gatens? <laughs> Why I say that? Gatons. Toasty is doing that laundry. <laughs> We saw, Toasty's doing we saw our Toasty laundry. Walking, we saw him wandering around the street looking yeah. lost. <laughs> he's doing laundry. He was like walking and he stopped and he's like, walk this way. He's like, oh no, he's lost. I took a video of him wanting him to look at the video that I sent to him. And then he was trying to look where I was, but I don't know. Uh, no, uh, we, me and Toasty had uh, that Guatemalan place. Oh, the the, the market we went to, yeah. dude. I think it's literally like one of the best meals I've ever had on trail. So good. Hey man, where you where you at? What's going on? <clears throat> okay, that's Italian. Hey, your brother's on my live. Yep. <clears throat> hey. Uh, he hung up, or I hung up, on him. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, video channel. How do I? What's your passcode? Yeah, tell it to the world. <laughs> <laughs> no one's put it on. Put it in uh, fingers. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we wait. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, your brother's on my live. You're on live right now. You're on live. You're on live right now. You. <laughs> he said who? <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah. Well, you're not. You're on the phone with me on live. He's our new prospect. <laughs> Toasty says hello. Everybody say good, happy birthday to Toasty because it's his birthday. Is your brother William? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, he's he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're all, I came downstairs. Yeah, we're just missing you. Is the laundry almost done? Short life. All right, we'll hurry up. Salvador. All right, babe. Salvador. Salvador. Uh, do you know how to get to this room? Okay, bye. <laughs> Wait, what happened to that? Thank you, Charles Dang. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, this guy said, 
Kelly thumb up when you show your feet. I told you guys. <laughs> People always be asking me for feet pics and feet. I don't understand. I'm so creepy. I do not understand. I have a feet phobia. There should be a special task force to find these people. <laughs> <laughs> a special task force. Throw them down a hole. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Without that. <laughs> Weird. But only when you sitting there bare. Okay, this guy's about to get deleted from the chat. Nobody wants. Nobody. Nobody wants any of that. Mm -hmm. Ghosty, maybe. <laughs> you did not just say that on live. No. Oh my gosh, this guy's <laughs> five dollars for Venom and Feet Fake. No. Everybody. Pipe down, all you foot fetish people. Any chance of two videos a day to get us caught up? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Sorry. <Nope. laughs> because uh, I'm not caught up. There are not enough videos that are made to do that. Oh, uh, let's see. All right. Well, this is I'm. We've been on here for an hour and a half. Killing it. it Name a like price. Five hundred for the creepy foot pic. Hey, who's asking about the five monkey Sandy? Who's Sandy Doyle? Sandy Doyle. Are you still hiking with Sock Monkey and Lumberjack? Did they know? No. They're, they are elsewhere. Yeah. But, uh, again, I don't tell where anybody else is because they might not know want people to know where they are, so. Oh, we might have a toasty. Oh, no. Or, or roasty. He wants to be... <laughs> no, roasty. fee pig. Super cool guy. <clears throat> no, now we're just talking about feet. Can we change the subject? Of the Mighty Mouse? Somebody asked, how's yeah, Mighty, Mouse? Mighty Mouse? Oh. Mighty Mouse is, oh, how did Mighty I get, Mouse. I got zoomed in. Whoa. Uh, yeah, knows. whoops, we're good. <laughs> uh, Mighty Mouse is good. We talk on the phone every other day, and um, she's she's doing very well. She's ahead of me on trail. She bumped up a little bit. Um, so, yeah. The first guy up there. Oh, I guess trolling. Which one? Um, Cupid's victim. Yeah. He's strong. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, thank all your people. Thanks for giving her money. She buys us stuff. I do. I, I try to I, I try to do things. The more money you give her, the more she buys us. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll get crab rolls. <laughs> Dude, <that'd> be <laughs> I, I try to share deal. the wealth just because, like, I mean... Next, next, everybody's uh, everybody's part of this journey with me, so. Next time we find a really expensive lobster roll restaurant, can I have one? <laughs> <laughs> not just you better work it. for it. Not just talk about it for months. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to talk about that for the rest of the trip. An that extensive time, lobster roll. Water Gap. It was a really expensive lobster roll. <sighs> she had lobster roll and we had. You had peasant oh. food. I'm just kidding. By the way, how is the new video camera working? It's good. I, I like I said, video will be coming out for that soon. West Mountain is the best shelter, hands down. Where is that? What's your favorite snack? Uh, candy. <laughs> I live in Arkansas. I've always wanted to do a long distance through hike, and you inspired me to do the AT. Was always leaning towards PCT, but now I'm more AT biased. That's awesome. Yeah. The AT, I feel like, is more ecologically the same as Arkansas. Does that make sense? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's the Popeye Dictionary. <laughs> the Popeye Dictionary. Oh, I had another one today. Oh, my God. This was a good one. Got it. What? I had another Popeye word that I was saying. Oh. Harriman, New York State Park. Okay. Two lobster, two lobsters for the price of one in Maine. What? No, so, dude, I'm getting four. <laughs> is there a way I can catch my own lobster? Yeah, maybe we can like do that. Lobster hands. That'd be cool. Crabby, do we take crab or not? Crab man. 
Hey, yeah, exactly. The flora and fauna are all closer to what I want. Yeah, right. then the and the weather's the same and like I don't know. Rabbit. It just it sometimes I feel like I'm in Arkansas when I'm on the trail and it's cool. I love Arkansas. Your old van vibes got me hooked, high key. Did you ever explain to them like hey cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know what Hey Cow is because I've played it before. But I, I told these these fools about Hey Cow, and uh, now Pop, I can't wait to play. I can't wait. I'm gonna beat all of you at Hey Cow. I'm a Hey Cow expert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. <laughs> what? I'm just gonna I want to get all those cows to look at me. Hey <laughs> Cow. How is Pine Grove? Pine Grove Furnace or Pine Grove? I think it's just Pine Grove. Did we even go into Pine yeah, Grove? Of course. There's a bomb Arby's. Oh, we ate at the Arby's in Pine Grove, and it was so good. So good. We walked through the drive thru oh. My trail name was Trance because that's what it put me in one day on Standing Indian. Nice. I remember Standing Indian. That's right before um, first town. We can't. There's strict rules on lobsters. lobsters yeah. yeah. They eat lobster rolls like French fries up there. Oh, I love lobsters. Rolls. Videos. Um. When I do it next year, I want to video it, but I'm curious how to edit videos on trails. Thinking I'll have to have pack my laptop with me. No, you can do it all on your phone. It's just time consuming. You have to really like plan out how you're gonna store all your data if you wanna keep worst. it. That's the worst part. Um, it's it's honestly a huge hassle. What I would do is just like probably record a bunch of stuff and then edit it when you're done with the trail. Uh, That's what I switched to. <sighs> I bounce your laptop. Very, you could bounce your laptop. That would be a hassle. And expensive. And very expensive. I don't know. I'm almost leaning towards. Uh, no, I won't do that. I'll keep editing videos. It's just very hard to edit videos. It's like very time con consuming. Uh, she does it for y'all. I do it for the people. Yep. The for people. the people. <coughs> How is New Jersey? New Jersey is my favorite state in, uh, thank you. In, uh, I on the AT, you. yeah, so far. <laughs> we had, like, the best four, three, four days in New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey was fun. Shout out to Dave. The reason why New Jersey's so great is... <laughs> 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 Dave, if you're out there watching, we had fun, buddy. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. That we was... made a friend named Dave. He lives in Unionville, New York. <laughs> just dropping. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Oh. Eh. Like it. He, yeah, he's fine. Shout out, Dave. Yeah. Shout out, Dave. Definitely a warm welcome to that city. Yep. Right now, yep. We, we had a good time. It was fun. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this guy said, one of your videos should be a creative SNL, write a script, and have the Tramley act it out. That'd be fun. That would be fun. <laughs> we should do that. Oh, one of these hot days, I'm sure we could. <laughs> <laughs> the breaks that we take. <laughs> At every water source. We probably should do something productive. Yeah. We usually do push-ups now. Yeah, well, we've been on this push-up kick. Well, they started it. How many push-ups are you guys doing a day? Um, 100. Yeah, starting with 100. How many have you done today? Zero. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a lot. I'll do, I'll do. I'll do 100 right after I finish all this fettuccine. Whatever. I'm still working on the fettuccine. Yeah, I'm sure. It's a lot of fettuccine. <laughs> you want to do push-ups? Yo, do the push-ups to the song Flowers. Flowers? How many know. days have you been on the trail? Oh, tripod, I need to, like, look at your trail log because I got behind. Remember what we've done. Okay, I got to update tonight. I missed the last four days. Yeah. I should be able to. I've been on trail for. Yeah, how long have you been on trail? Yeah. 
four months and 13 days. <laughs> <laughs> and what state are you in? <laughs> I'm in New York, right? Yes. Uh-huh. We're in New York. We in New York. Yeah. I should have started a month earlier to be even more time on trail. That's right. That's something I'll tell you about when you start this. Yeah. Is like, you can hike it late. Like, I start April, April 14th. You can start late, but you don't have you have less time to experience everything on the trail. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's, even though you can do it, it just puts more stress on you. Yeah, people are paranoid about the weather and time, but I don't know. I people, start- get par- people on my YouTuber, they get paranoid about everything. I vote start March 1st and end October 1st. That is the best. <laughs> this person said, your girl in the back slip, sipping a beer under the quilt is a whole mood. <laughs> Yo, John's living her best life over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. So funny. How do I, how should I do this? Oh, perfect. Oh, check that out. Tripod with the tripod. Tripod things. <laughs> the tripod things. Your That's life the is the best. Tripod sandal I've Thank ever you. Seen. <laughs> tripod sandal. Mm-hmm. Mom, look, no hand. I'd rather just enjoy the weather instead of not enjoying the hike. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Holding a forty, no less. Haha. Uh-huh. Is that a forty? No. That's it's a tall boy. It's a tall boy. Oh, got tall boys. Oh, cool. You got a couple of different. Oh, ones. there you go. I'll sit down. Oh wow, my butt just got all in that. I'm gonna keep. <sighs> You're welcome. Got bread. Still right. reserved. Tripod's now the host. Oh yeah. Hello. All right. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. <All right>. <laughs> Tripod's gonna be answering questions. <laughs> yeah, she is drinking. What are you drinking? A Cooler's Light. <laughs> Cooler's Light for the win. <laughs> Really? Is that Bear Mountain? I don't know what the fuck it would have been. Could have been no. an actual. Could have been Daddy. Oh, that's. Uh, it could have been the cheapest beer ever. This is not Bear Mountain. Nope. No, Definitely not, not Bear Mountain. Mountain. Bear Mountain was cool though. There was a quinceanera going on. <laughs> the quinceanera that yeah. kept us up all night long. Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> I, the only I party we could ever do. <laughs> I actually love that. There was a Mexican rave going on. <laughs> Can I have a piece of your bread? <laughs> yeah. Go for the bread. Homeless people here. He's like, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it. Had too many carbs. Too much pasta. Uh, do the knife edge at Katata. I was with somebody that told me the other day. Yeah, we, I've heard about it too. Depends on weather, a lot of that. Is that a blue blaze or is it the AT? We don't have blue blaze. It's uh-huh. Which ones do the most push ups? I don't know. Dang, I don't know. At this moment in time, I don't know. Yeah. I'll do, I'll I'm do five. Off from yesterday. We're not doing it. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing push ups right now. <laughs> That's another video. <laughs> not today. That is actually going to be on. Oh, there. she's going for I'll it? Do, I'll do five. Uh-oh. You better keep that back straight. That's, that's one. one. Two. That three. was three! That's four. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. All right, that's that. I'll do it. Pick, pike, pike pick, pick a pike or pick it. Pike push-ups. No. What is it? Turler burler! Everybody say turler burler. Turler burler. <laughs> David, what is a preferred trail snack through hikers like what, like to receive right now? Uh, anything that has food, yeah, and calories in it. Yeah. Don't Have, bring peanut butter crackers. I don't know why everybody yeah, brings those. Nobody bring wants peanut butter, butter crackers. crackers. We want crackers out here, or tuna packets. Yeah, bring us stuff we're, we're not going to carry ourselves. Keep your tuna packets and your peanut butter. Fruit is always appreciated. Yeah. Peaches are awesome. And grapes. Mm-hmm. And apples. Have y'all been eating brownies? Oh. <laughs> THC brownies. No, we're not criminals. Uh-huh. We don't do that here. That's crazy. 
I'd like a regular brownie though. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> That'd be really good. What's dessert? We should find dessert. There is an ice cream oh. taco and ice cream place. Oh, we should go get ice cream. Ice cream. Can we get ice cream tacos? You guys want to go on an adventure? Mm-hmm. Like I'm yeah. serious. Can. Oh, like right now? Yeah. Wait. I want off. Taking the thing. people with us to the July you, restaurant. Should we take you, the people? Dave, well, you want some ice cream? People? Who, who wants ice cream? I think all those 300 people want ice cream. Uh, there's only 227 left. Which is very surprising that there's 227 <laughs> people still watching this. <laughs> I have hikers on a Friday. Me, so. me. Drink a beer per mile challenge. No. Hey, we only, I might How do about that. no? Hey, people want to go with. <laughs> I'm like, where's that? They do want to come with. Yeah, Wee. Um, That's just, fine. They're going to know where you're at, but we got you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get hurt off trail? <laughs> oh man. The turtle burler. Turtle burler. Turtle burler. Turtle burler. Alright, we're gonna go on an ice cream adventure. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most exciting live that you've probably had. <laughs> this is the best live I've ever had. Right. I'm gonna keep this and watch it one day. We're all gonna watch this one day and laugh. memories right here. Yeah. Oh, I have to go back to my room and get uh my shoes. What? My shoes. How does your YouTube? At this point, I'm just carrying my phone with me, and the live is gonna keep going. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, do I remember the code to get in my home? Ha ha. I do remember the code. Buy me ice cream. How about you buy me ice cream? Just kidding. I'll buy my own ice cream. I don't need, I don't need no man. Okay. Snap. That's a problem. That's a problem. I don't remember how to get in my room and I can't take the live off. Hey. I'm gonna wake everybody up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hi. Sorry. Hi. I didn't know if that was. Hmm. This is awfully a problem. We want James. James is doing my laundry. Um. Well, 214 of us have no life on Friday night. <laughs> 215, actually 200 and plus three, 218. Aw, thank you, the mysterious husky. You can all get ice cream. Cool, uh, so I have a problem. Uh, I don't remember the code to my room and yeah, I can't look at it. So I'm just going to take my socks off and walk barefoot. Yeah, so I can't remember the code of my room. So I'm just leaving my socks here and um, walking. Walking. Uh... Okay, James is a good guy. Why? There's like all these random people in my live that are like, James. where's James? Oh, yeah, I, I guess that's who they're talking about. <laughs> we don't go by government names here. Yeah. I don't know a James. What do you mean? Who's James? What's a James? What's, what's James? I'm walking barefoot. Currently oh, walking no. barefoot to the ice cream place that's closed. Um, yeah, it might be. No! Oh. Well, are there any other ice cream places around here? Dad, blast it! Dad gum! Oh my gosh, you people don't even know. Now people are just trolling. Trolling? Why? Uh oh. Hey, there he is. Who? He's across the. There's James, as you guys want to call him. He's across the railroad track. Where? Oh, here. Coming this way. I don't know. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. He's carrying a bag of something. 
Well, guys, uh, the live stream place is closed. So that's not good. Go to the Mexican place and look at the ice cream bar. Okay, let's do that. What in the turler burler is going on here? The turler burler. The turler burler. Ugh. Closed. People are dropping like french fries. You're dropping your french fries? I eat those. You had some really good french fries at the tavern. It's good. Getting ice cream? Get ice cream? On YouTube Live? You got a bunch of fans. Oh, now. look, it's James. Hello, James. Did you text all your friends and tell them to get in the live and, like, t talk about you or something? Oh, look at that truck. <laughs> oh, a cool truck. Never mind. Yeah. Clean clothes. Do you have anything to say? To your fans. Since everybody oh, my video's coming. skipping. Hello. Oh, They're probably, like... James. Who's Please that? James. That's my friend Paul. <laughs> Are you trolling my YouTube? <laughs> you did text all your friends and tell them to go. No, no. Paul just called me. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're super famous now too. Oh, I don't. Oh do you yeah, remember? Yeah. I don't have the code to the room. So, oh, are you coming with? Am I allowed to come with? Who's James? Yeah. James? yeah. That's James. And my friend Paul. And that's Paul. Paul, you're famous. <sighs> I think uh, everybody dropped off because my video is like bad quality. Oh, yeah. Can you put it on your uh, thingy so I can see it, it skipping around? Whoa. Papa. Cool. Crap service too. Do so. do do. Still blowing my mind that 160 people are. <laughs> How do we get them back? What do we watching have to do this? To get more of a Ice cream money. Thank you. <laughs> How do you do what you do? Heat and humidity would kill me. No shower, etc. It gets pretty greasy. Like we went seven days without a shower. Like really last, bad. like a week. We took like a river bath, but it was pretty demoralizing. It was not a good time. I, I think that's my limit. Uh, seven days without a shower is the most I ever want to go. Let's see here. Oh, they're open. Nice. Hopefully they don't. Uh, no, I'm good. It has improved. Good. Maybe you can get fried ice cream at the Mexican place. We're going to the Mexican place right now find ice cream. Oh, it's cream! That's a, not a good selection. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Is there anybody, any other place open? Or? I mean, this would be... I want an ice cream sandwich. Bomb pop. Not walking to the gas station, maybe. How far oh, away? Yeah. Oh, let's go to the gas station. We're gonna walk to the gas station now. Cause this place didn't have what we wanted. I remember we went to a gas station. Oh, that deli, and they had a ice cream sandwich in there for the last seven years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had the worst. We went to this deli and they had like old ice cream. It was not fun. Can you figure out where you're at? Yeah. No. All right. Nobody knows where I'm at. Ouch. It is shower time. Shower time? You're not gonna go to the gas station? Nah, I'm not feeling ice cream. Wow. I'm too cold. Wow. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna walk all the gas all the way to the gas station, um, shoeless. Barefoot. You want to take the bed rocks? Take them for a spin? <laughs> Maybe fall in love with them. <laughs> and hike the entire uh, <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm going to run up to my room and 
get my shoes. Toasty should have the code to my room. Dude, this 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 uh, foot troll person is still asking me to do creepy things. We're gonna make a task force to find you. <laughs> uh -oh, you we are gonna hole. find you. <laughs> throw you down a hole. <laughs> and throw you down a hole. <laughs> a shallow hole so it doesn't hurt. Doesn't Ow! Hurt it. It's gonna be a pretty deep. They're hole. having fun. Late night ice cream hunt. Very Me just laying hole. in bed watching. <laughs> Stick with tripod. He's trained. I think this person knows you. I don't know. Tripod, you you have a number one fan. His name is... Uh, oh, crap! I almost just uh, busted it. Hey, you have the code to the room. We need the code. What's the code? What's in the box? This one, I know. I just don't know the room door when the one to to the room. Tripod. I was in the Air Force. I salute a fellow vet. No. But we have a friend who can open a bottle of wine with a trekking pole. Yeah, I could do that if you want, but... Okay. <laughs> she said, okay. <laughs> What's the alternative? You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. it may be your best bet. That's serious. What did you say? Four, three... Uh, four, three, two, seven. All right, cool. Uh-oh. My whole, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> There's a glass of water. Oh, I just crushed your food. That was my food, you idiot. <laughs> Dad gummit. Will you put that on the table? All right. Um, so yeah, currently what's happening. We went back up to the room. To find ice cream at the gas station and then my buddy my buddy my friend Popeye is gonna help the lady down the way open her wine bottle with the trekking pole us hikers are good for something she doesn't have a bottle a wine opener and Popeye is a um, professional at opening wine bottles with trekking poles so I'm gonna go get him to do that to help her are you going to get ice cream? Are you getting ice cream? Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> What's there? A wine? Do, do, do. Oh, I was going to get uh, Popeye to help this lady. There's this girl um, on our floor that doesn't have a wine opener. And I told her that Popeye could open it with just a trekking pole. In the hallway. Okay. When the guys came out. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Some lady that I met upstairs. She Thank you, Nathan. No, we just, she's just like down the road from our room. She's just sitting up there? Mm 
And she just opened her door and was like, do you guys have a wine opener? And we're like, no, but my friend can open it with a trekking pole. Let's just, let's just go. I'll text him where, where she is. All right, we're back in action, people. Um, Nathan, I'm buying that. I'm using that money to buy a coffee in the morning. <laughs> His room. Buy that coffee in the morning. Gotta, gotta buy laundry in straight order. <laughs> <laughs> you mean ice cream? Ice cream. <laughs> Fans, what the heck? Can I show off to YouTube how many quarters I have? These are all quarters. How many dollars worth of quarters is that? Uh, <laughs> not Six. Six, maybe, I think. For some reason. Six dollars. Yeah. You're not ultralight. At all. The is, At all. Pre wash any of your socks and stuff. No, I really you messed should. up. <laughs> yeah. It's Friday the 13th. We know. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Run! Run! <laughs> <laughs> we almost got killed by a train. Dang. It's Friday the 13th things. Things are getting weird. Step on a train getting track. Weird. Here comes a train. Yeah, that, that was weird. And we're about to be on Elm Street again, I think. We should just. <laughs> Pearl of Wisdom, have you ever told your followers to rewash clothes? Oh no. Is this Exxon closed? No way. No way. Yeah, you should. No. no! Are you kidding me? Uh, why? It's Friday the 13th. It's Friday the 13th. The world doesn't want us to have ice cream. No. Um. What's... Should we get it? Try to get a hitch? No, I'm just kidding. But seriously. Oh, they're doing truck things over there. It's a, it's a truck meet out. It's a truck, truck meet up right here. Remember when I was in high school? The cool trucks. Trucking. <laughs> hey. oh. Anybody I guess we're going to have to go buy that Mexican ice cream. So Wait, tacos and cones. It's close. Can you answer that Mexican joke so bad? You have not seen any Mexican. We're all brown. On our we're all Mexicans. <laughs> except for him. He's white. There you are. Me, Popeye, and Tripod are all of the, Me the Mexican descent. I have the darkest I didn't, I don't know, that, that, that question caught me off guard. I was just like, what? What? <laughs> like, no. They're in hibernation? I don't know what they're Do they sell ice cream at the McKinney and Doyle Fine Food? That's too nice. That's yeah. too, that's too bougie. They don't like our kind there. Eh? They don't like us. No, it's a cool town. Dude, that guy would have picked us up in that truck. This rabbit place Looks closed. Where are those people going? Follow random people. Just start following people. Where are you going? Doing anything fun? Yeah. So uh, somebody said, "Holy crap! Is that for regular unleaded?" Didn't anybody even see the price of gas? No. I stopped looking oh, at stuff like, like that. Three forty nine. <laughs> what? Is it that much everywhere? Or are we just in New York? Michigan was high last night. No, we're not. What? You were bad at this stuff. Rules. Do you remember the rules? No cursing. No, no telling oh, no. where we're at. Oh, I don't know where we are. <laughs> Can't take these these fools anywhere. <sighs> closed until after Labor Day. Everything's closed here because uh, nobody wants to work anymore. That is very common along the trail. Yeah, like places are closed because there's no staff. Or one store will be open and then they'll flip all their staff to another store. 
the next yeah, day. Yeah, and then you're just alternate. like, SOL. It's oh, so there's weird. a CVS. Oh, they have that. ice cream. And look, there's a deli and pasta place like behind our place. Oh, what? What? I bet Vin that place is, is good. Go it's Vinny's. This is why, yeah. Welcome to the to our life. This is what we do. We should almost go hike. It's finally cool enough to walk. Yeah, why are we not on trip? We should be should be hiking, dang it. <laughs> Whoops. Why are we not dying while walking? Yeah, you guys are cool night hiking in town, but when I want to hike, night hike on trail, you're like, yeah, yeah, I hate night hiking. Me, me. It's Papa. He's scared of the dark. Young people hitching at night on Friday the 13th. I sense the plot of a movie right. developing. Stay tuned. See what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Might end up at the yellow yeah. belly. The yellow, yeah, it'll be the freaking yellow deli that picks us up. Now we're in CVS. <laughs> Do you need to resupply? Resupply? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll buy. I'll buy fuel for it. I love night hiking too, but the boys don't. So, <gasps> dude, they have essential. I'm getting lavender. And look, it's only eight bucks. Lavender oil. What is the difference? Box better, and the price. They have got tea tree oil too. <laughs> oh. What else do I need, people? I feel like I need something else here. Oh fuck! Hmm. I didn't bring my wallet. I can get it. Are you sure? As soon as I can. I'm gonna go outside so I get back. Oh, CVS killed the connection. I don't even know if I'm on air. Oh, there's some people. Ugh. CVS, dad gummit, I'm back. There's no internet in here, apparently. But the bag is secured. We got ice cream. We got snacks. We got lavender essential oils. Y'all found my lavender essential oil. So it's a good day and it's not $20. Eight. Still expensive, but whatever. Everything is expensive because we're in New York. And uh, that's how it is around these. Yeah, mission accomplished. Now there's... Then there was 113. Y'all are real ones. I'm glad we could spend this Friday night together. I can't believe I've been on live for 131 minutes of my life. I can't wait to eat this ice cream. Bag secured? Yeah. Where's toasters? I thought he was out here. Lost. Are you gonna show him the way a uh, hiker opens a wine bottle? Should we? <laughs> is that the is that the next uh, adventure of this of our that? nightly adventures? Is that him over there? No. Oh. What flavor ice cream? Uh, whoa. I got strawberry. Tripod got strawberry. Uh, now we are walking back. I don't know. He's bad at the rules anyways. 
<laughs> He's blowing our cover anyway. Popeye. Popeye is about to open a random lady's wine bottle for her. With a trekking pole. With a trekking pole. Would you guys like to come to that? <laughs> this night just keeps getting more and more exciting, I swear. Yeah. The skills you learn on trail. <laughs> the things that you learn to do on trail. Oh boy. Dude, this uh, phone cord is, is about to bite the dog. <laughs> wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's kind of scary. Threat. This guy said my dog is eating bacon and cheese dog ice cream. What? Never heard of that, but... Uh -uh. I want uh, some for my dog. I was going to say, I mean, that sounds like something I'd eat. I want to know how to open a wine bottle with a trekking pole. Uh. Well, you're about to learn. Because old Popeye is about to show the world how to do it. You know how to get in your room? Nope. Toasty holds the code. Do you even ha do you have his number? Toasty? Yeah. No. <laughs> Dad, gum it. <laughs> Wants to see the wine bottle opening. I'll tell Popeye to call Toasty. Oh no! I'll... Yeah. That's a useful man right there. Yeah, Popeye is useful, often. Don't forget about the hallway. We gotta grab some air. Ready to open a random lady's bottle? Yeah. The and the people want to see as well. Like a clean trekking pole? A clean trekking pole. Oh, yeah. Chungs. Can I use your trekking pole to open the gun bottle? I won't break any card. Dude, it's so convenient. We have like a actual clean trekking pole, too. Yeah, yeah. you need to do it with. I don't know. She said she didn't care. She just wanted her wine bottle opened. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to ask this kind woman. Oh, yeah, we have to be quiet. Sorry. We have a grumpy neighbor. Oh yeah, can you call Toasty and tell him that we're back? I think he's on the phone in there. I think he's on the phone. Are these free for anybody? Let's find out. Hey, do you still want your wine bottle opened? Hey, I had it open our CVS. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you I was so gonna much. say we're, we just brought the trekking bowl up. <laughs> that would have been honestly so entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Yeah, no problem. Well, Dang it! One day. Next, yeah, we'll show you one one time. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, my pea socks. Yeah. Well, I'll have a spoon. You guys got ice cream? Yeah. yeah.
Half gallon challenge. The half gallon challenge. Challenge. The half gallon challenge. Your dentist must have a blast. I've never had a cavity in my entire life, so that may change after this. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, unless you guys want to watch us eat ice cream in the dark, I feel as if this live is a devolving. It has devolved completely. It's its last life. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, wasting your, your Friday night with me. Um, yeah. Uh, it was a good time. <sighs> this guy said smoke a bowl for me. I don't smoke, bro, but... Thanks. It's been fun. I'm glad you guys have had fun. I've had fun. Um, I will enjoy the ice cream. I'm glad it was entertaining. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, did the super chat thing. Um, fun to meet your fans. Yeah, uh, we all had fun. We'll do this again. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, Alright, well, this is awkward now because uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't really know how to say bye. Oh, are you? Hopefully, tomorrow's cooler. Hopefully, tomorrow is cooler. Yeah. Some cool content. Yeah, I'll get back to vlogging the trail. Uh, but yeah, this is a typical zero. We just kind of like go on night quests for food and mess around and shoot shoot the shit so oh wait okay yep goodbye everybody oh, it's been night. real why is somebody getting on yeah who is it can we, can we prolong the live yeah, for a little bit longer it. okay just kidding I, I one of it. one of toasty's friends uh oh, you know, like, must be cool he wants to be on live. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there you are. I I don't. Look, who there are, you are these people? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. We're showing them. Whoa! Showing them. Inception. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> they wanted to be on the live. <laughs> Who are here. those people? My friends from home. They're getting it. Oh. Keep hiking, yeah. Kelly. Keep hiking, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> 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 Where are you people? Where are you people? Keep it. Keep it. I just have a couple requests. Oh, there's Sarah. Hey, Who's Sarah? Sarah? Yeah. Who's Hi, Sarah. I don't know what screen to look at. <laughs> I'm looking at you. While you're looking at me <laughs> on YouTube. So, <laughs> and that's when they, yeah, anyway. All right, well, <laughs> they got their two seconds of fame. They're like, oh yeah, well, sorry to break it to you guys, but there's only 140 people <laughs> Um. All right, well, yeah. Good night, everybody. I'm going to eat my ice cream now. Later days. Love y'all. Let's hang out again. Do it soon. <laughs>